Hello. Welcome back to Learning with Ms. H. We are going to look at the graduation requirement form today. So the way that you're going to fill this out is you're going to go into our lesson page. Um, you're going to click on this Google Sheet where it says graduation requirements form, and it's going to ask you to make a copy of the form. So you're going to be filling out this form, and it's going to calculate your requirements for you. I'm going to show you what that means. So let's click on the form, make a copy. And then this is going to be your copy of this form. So you're going to put your name here. <clears throat> and then change the name of the document up here. Sample student graduation calculation. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at all of your classes that you have. And you're going to start filling them in here. So if you are a current junior, you should have already had a lot of these. So you're going to look on your transcripts or your grade history in uh, PowerSchool, and you're going to look and see, did you pass English 1? If so, English 1 semester 1 is half a credit. So each semester is a half a credit. So for a full year of English 1, that's half credit each semester. English 2, you passed. And then say we're in semester two of junior year, so you would have English three, S1. Okay, so you have two and a half credits of English, and you know that because right down here, it totals it up for you. You have two and a half credits up here. You need four credits to graduate. So your total is two and a half, and it's red because you haven't finished it yet. So then down here, you still need one and a half. And then it's going to do the same thing. So say for history, um, you only need three credits of that. So say you pass world history, um, freshman year, U.S. history, sophomore year, and then you took American government last semester. So you have all of those. So now you have two and a half credits of that. And say you doubled up last semester and took psychology as well. So you have four um, different classes here, world history, U.S. history, and then government psychology, but your total credits add up to your three credits. And you see right here, this turned green. So when I remove the psychology credit, it's red, but when I put the psychology credit in, it's green. You still need zero, so this require requirement has been met. And then you'll do the same thing, so your math class you passed, or algebra, geometry, um, and it's your junior year, so you took one semester. So you need half a credit still. If you want to, you can actually put in the classes that you are taking right now as well. Um, I tell my students that when you do that, though, you want to change the color. So I make the writing blue to just indicate that that's what I'm in right now. So you can kind of see anything that's highlighted blue is a current class that you're taking. So if you're in psychology now, turn it blue. Um, that way you can still put them on here so you know where you're going to be at at the end of the semester. So you know what to enroll for for next year. And you're going to go through and do that for all of your classes. So when you do it for the whole thing, um, we'll say, I'm just going to go ahead and put in here um, a couple of numbers randomly. Um, to show you what it's going to do. Oops, no, personal finance is half. Let's do 0.5 and let's do 0.5. Okay, so I'm not going to fill in all of these with classes, but you get the idea from doing these classes. You would do the same thing in each of these columns to show what classes you have. So for fine arts, you would put um, intro to visual arts, for example. Same thing for electives, anything that doesn't count up here in any of your required or anything extra. If you have your three math credits and you take a fourth math class, it goes down here in electives. Um, those will all get totaled up here at the top. So right now you have 24 credits taken. You need 28 and a half. So if I put another four and a half credits of electives down here, now I've met 
my 28 requirement. So all of the math is done for you on here. All the calculations are done for you on here. Um, you're just filling in your classes, the amount that they're worth, and then looking to see if you still need credits or not in blue. If you have red totals with a blue number, you still need credits. If you have green totals with a blue zero, you're done with that requirement. Anything else can go in the electives. Hope that helps. Um, hope that you can use this throughout your high school years to keep track of where you are for graduation so you can get done on time. We'll see you next time.